Hi everyone, going to take a quick look at another glorious hotel here in Benidorm. The hotel is called Hotel Santos Monaco. I believe it is like a spa hotel as well, so that makes it even more fancy. And it does look like it is open. I believe it is like a very, very posh hotel, seven. <laughs> that I would ever say to myself, unless I have made a bit more money on YouTube. It is just up here, uh, this little path on Calais Le Panto. Here it is. Hotel Santos Monaco. Looks absolutely gorgeous, guys. Let's go have a closer look. So you've got a nice little path to walk up to. It looks like the pool area is up there and you do have a little bar as well. There's a waterfall there. Nice little waterfall. Then, here is the hotel. Many of its balconies are situated on the front. Preferably, you'll get more sun up on that bit. Does look a very nice hotel, and if any of you guys have stayed here, let me know your opinion. And of course, you do have a nice little water fountain here. So, if you've had enough of Sitting in your hotel room, maybe you could get a nice cold drink and just come and sit out here with a book or something. Not a waterfall there. I love Benny Dorm because you've always got to like adventure around different places. Because you always do tend to find stuff you never knew was there half the time. And we are just coming back out on Calais I beef and now. Cut down on to here then take us no walk down back into town. You have like a ticket office place here as well, so you can book tickets for Aquilandia, Benidorm Palace, Aquinatora, Mondomar, etc, etc. Hair salon there. Across the road you have a bizarre type shop to sell. Clothes, lilos, kids toys. Electrical items, etc., etc. So I'm pretty sure if there is something you haven't brought with you on holiday, you could find it in there. Maybe that like you want an extra mug for your room or an extra cup. Just nipping there, couple of your way, and you got it. Across the way, you do have some beautiful little Spanish bars. There's 
Well, if you want to try some of the Spanish cuisine, I think you also may have a few Dutch bars along, along here as well, which is also very different, very nice as well. Only halfway through filming, and already I am sweating. Funny thing is, we have got a bottle of squash each. And the thing that's funny about it is, guess what? The squash is frozen solid. So, we are having to wait for the squash to fall out, so we can have a drink. <laughs> yes, it does save money, but... Going off my calculations, it'll be about two eight minute films before I can actually have a decent drink of squash. I just thought of coming back into town now. I think I might just cut down back onto the strip, which is kind of where my next film will be taking place, guys. Nice little bar here. Tapas La Albuferia. It's quite busy up here today. Overall, you've got the law, a coffee top shop. Also, do some very nice cakes, I've been told and milkshakes as well. Maybe one of those when I'll get paid to take mum in there for a little treat. What do you guys think? Should I take mum in there for a little treat or should I spend the money on myself? Let me know down below. Anyway guys, I will be loving and leaving you soon. So make sure before I do, you smash that like button. You subscribe to the channel as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Adios guys.